so here's the new uh, Hurricane 21. We've just sold the latest one off to Scotland in the Hebrides. This one is going to be a centre console model. So we've recently just filled, finished, should I say, the uh, hull layout. Uh, so the hull is 11 ounces, a uh, combination of chop strand mat and woven rovings. As you can see, if it picks up on the camera, the lines that run through the hull. So that's every layer that we've put in and moved to stagger the joins for optimum strength. Almost like tiger stripes as it were. And then on the chines that run through the hull and the keel, we've put in another three ounces over that in woven roving just to stiffen up those chines. And obviously the keels are nice and strong so we're going through the wake quite well. Uh, so this morning we've just been marking out the transom, getting that set up, getting it marked out. So this is going to take an extra long shaft, um, probably around up to 140 horsepower on this. This is going to be a new entry level model, uh, open boat. Nice and cost effective model, you know, nothing too fancy like the last one, uh, just sort of a nice day boat, whether fishing or a weekender or family boat, there's a few options you can sort of go with with this one. And then on the side there, we've just been getting the bulkheads made and the um, transom made as well, just so we can start getting this all marked up and moving along. Uh, so we're going to have a 200 litre fuel tank on this as well so it'll have a nice bit of range on there so it's a bit different to most mono hulls in the sense of the design the chines as you can see run all the way up to the bow this was designed by john moxham this hull uh, you know very well renowned powerboat designer it's been uh, a number of years since this hull was put into production probably almost uh, Coming on for four decades now, so uh, yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a journey getting it to this point. Uh, so we've got this one and we've just actually sold, as of last week, another one, which will be going to the Netherlands as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice hull, high performance. It's uh, very thick, all our builds are to MCA standard or greater. Uh, we don't just build to CE, the, the boats are built to last, built to be as strong as possible. This is currently in the mould still, and it will remain in the mould until all the longitudinals and the bulkheads are installed. One, because it gives us something to lift out from, and two, it's uh, for rigidity as well. So it stiffens the hull up and the bottom of the keel so that we retain the shape of the mould that we're currently in. When you take a skin out like this, they can be quite floppy uh, and loose still and you don't want to lose any of that shape because one is going to impact your performance of the boat and as well as the look if, if obviously you, you catch it in the light and parts are sucked in or losing shape then it's not really something you want to do so it's just a best practice to leave it in the mold until at least all the uh, stiffening and st structure has been installed that that way you can um, give yourself a better chance really. So yeah, so uh, hopefully follow us through on this. We're gonna start getting these bulkheads and longitudinals in soon with the transom. So we'll do another video once that's uh, all set up. Um, and then obviously the custom fuel tank and everything as well. So yeah, just stay tuned and see how we go.